right, she, uh, she seems unhappy. <laughs> Judging by that. Let's see, dear Mr. Greenbrier, this is March, it looks like 8th. Uh, I write to inform you that unfortunately Mercury Books will be unable to publish your follow up to The Accidental Pariah despite the loose sales of The Accidental Savior. Uh, despite the loose sales of The Accidental Savior, we went ahead with publication of the second book in hopes of the John Russell series catching on. However, sales of the second book have in fact been lower than that of the first, so our stewardship of the series must end here. It has been a pleasure working as your publisher, and we wish you and John Russell the best of your future endeavors. All right, well, it looks like Dad's books didn't go too well. What is this? I can't read it from here. Well, he's going to need that. So. Open the door to another closet. God, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stumble across somebody's hanging body in one of these, aren't I? There's the accidental savior book. Here's a note. Samantha, please give this to your mother. Janice, thank you for having Danny over to your new home. He has missed having his friend Samantha in the neighborhood very much. Danny asked if he could lend Samantha his Nintendo s street fighting tape. <laughs> oh man, game tapes. Uh, and I gave uh, my permission. He needs to spend less time with those games anyway. No hurry returning it. Let Samantha know. Let Samantha know that she is welcome back over to our uh, welcome back over to our house to visit anytime. Sincerely, Mary Sh something Schultzster Schultzster. When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend, and Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to like not see him anymore but he did always have the good Nintendo games maybe I'll give him a call so so it's really unclear like what's happening still like I, I don't know if this is like introspective gaming or if it's like you know horror gaming or, or what but uh, from what I've heard this isn't actually a horror game though but it could just be people trying to throw me off the scent. I don't know. Hi, Lonnie. So if you wanted to come over to my house uh, still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home too. So hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker if you still want to. And we can meet in the parking lot after six. Samantha, yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. But I'm going to kick your butt. Get ready. Uh, Hadouken. So you know Oops. what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, yes, turns out it applies to Street Fighter 2. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So uh. after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the Psycho House. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. All right, not bad. Katie, please tell Mom and Dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. Sam. Oh, wait. So Sam... I think Sam and her friends... Were they stealing stuff? I don't know. Crumpled paper. Katie, please, whatever you found, don't tell mom and dad. The attic. Oh, God, no. All right, that door's locked. Oh, man, this is just getting worse and worse. Wow. Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty scared. Uh, I'm pretty creeped out. I don't think I, don't think I should be, but... Uh, you know, if if I'm wrong, then you guys got a good laugh at my expense. But if I'm right, then you're probably going to get a good laugh at my expense as well. Um, I'm just going to try to turn these lamps on ASAP. Is that... Is, I can't tell if that's just ripped wallpaper or, or what. Alright, I'll read that in a second. Newspaper clipping. All right, well, looks like I'm about to go crazy from fear. 
Uh, controlled burn scheduled for Boone County. All right, looks like they're gonna. There's Janice Greenbrier. That's oh, that's my mom. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so it looks like they're gonna set fire to the forest. Personal calendar, weekly planner, Monday. Uh, can I don't know burning? Yeah, burning. Cooking plastic apron. Uh, ballroom dancing. Uh, let's see. Okay, I don't know. There's a comb. Let's see pen. There's a drawer. Examined form. Notice of temporary personnel transfer. Bruce Pendleton, head of personnel, state forestry service, to aid in the upcoming prescribed burn operation. A ranger with expertise in the procedure is being transferred to the station at Flintlock National Forest, effective 9 to uh, 94. Please see attached personnel file. The overseeing officer at Flintlock Forestry Station, Senior Conservationist Janice Greenbrier, is charged with the supervision of transferred personnel. The duration of transfer will be based upon the performance evaluation as the, as well as the recommendation of the overseeing officer. Signed, Bruce Pendleton. <clears throat> Need some water. Set tape. Let's see what we got. Bratmobile potty mouth for Sam. All right. Well, looks like uh, it's weird. Hanging out with the girls. With girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls. I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like instantly just right. I gave her the <laughs> grand psycho house tour. And took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know. I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, You have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I just, I, I kind of laughed during that thing, sorry. <laughs> Sam, stop leaving every damn light in the house on. You're as bad as your sister. Which is funny, because I've been leaving every single light in the house that I've come across on. So, let's read the sternly worded letter. To whom it may concern, I, Samantha Greenbrier, am 17 years old, and therefore uh, an independent, fully functional human being. Well, let me just stop you right there and say that's not true. Your frontal cortex doesn't fully close until you turn, like, around 25. So... I mean, correct me if I'm incorrect, please. Like, you, you as 17, you are not, uh, you're not completely all there. The fact that, and if you are 17, then I'm sorry that your life is terrible right now. The fact that you are, that you still forbid me from going into the city on my own is frankly absurd compared with Katie, who is only three years older than me and yet allowed to go all the way across the ocean to another continent on her own. And I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe uh, city on my own, like a human being. And since you may also remember that I have my own car now, you can't really stop me. Warmest regards, your daughter, Samantha. Anger. The, the anger is real. So let's see. This, I imagine, is Samantha's room. Or, or maybe, maybe mine. So cool. Alright, well we can't really open those three ring binders. Oh, of course this would be Samantha's room. Let's see. Bratmobile. Cool schmool. Alright. 
That, that was a pretty, that was a pretty hot, hot track. Oh, is this one of those magic eye things? I, I can never see these. I'll leave it up so you can maybe... Oh, I can see it. I can, I can see it. There's a shark in it. That is amazing. I've never been able to do one of these magic eye things before. And uh, there, there's a shark like right here. That is actually really, really cool. Right, let me see if I can do this one. Okay, yeah, yeah, there's a big heart right in the middle of the heart. That is amazing. All right. I've never been able to do those. Ma I'm like legitimately excited. I've never been able to do those magic eye things before. Let's see. Journey of Crystal. And Super Spitfire. Uh, Chun Li moves. Fireball. Hold back. Right. Punched. Uh, lightning kick. Kick, 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 kick. Helicopter kick. Hold down. Press up. All right. Well, not bad. Some sick moves. Enter combination. I don't know what it is. Uh, I haven't had that much to drink, Jody Foster. How many gears am I holding up? You better not have been reading my secret diary again. Uh, here you go, Mitten. Have some, uh, pate. Gross. Meow. Let's see. Oh, wow. These are actually, uh, actually real bands. Sonic Boom 94. I, I wonder, you know, I wonder if some of these were real things. Can I, I can't open this. Man, Sam had this in like fourth grade. Grab book. Holy Bible. Can I can I open it? I imagine I imagine the code is in here. No, no, I know the code is in here somewhere. It's Matthew 2117, isn't it? Grab plaque. Samantha. Alright, I don't care. You can read it if you want by pausing. Mitten 1888 uh, Dry Creek Road. Oh, our cat died. How sad. But I bet that's the code. King's Labyrinth. Once again, I'm just gonna kind of scam it. If you want to read it, then pause now. Allegra makes that's that's common, common, common theme. All right, whatever. Board game. Got your number. Are you gonna do the dance with anyone? Who's gonna crash on you? So dreamy. Dream phone. Let's, all right. 1888. Oh, I thought I was clever, but I really wasn't. Grab pillow, grab, what is that? It's Steggy. Steggy, the Stegosaurus. Underwear. That X File poster sure was popular. Read clipping Sam. I think the creative writing track would be perfect for you, Mrs. Blacklock. Blick bleh bleh. English creative writing. Three students from each track will be offered full scholarships. I want to join. I'm 25, it's too late for me. Another three ring binder. You know, the one three ring binder I don't check is gonna be the one with the important thing in it. Let's see, Emma, Oliver Twist. She's got the collected works of people. Emery Board. And she wouldn't just have it written down on any old thing. Maybe, maybe she would, I don't know. Tissue box. No, nothing. Coupons. The mi <laughs> the misfits. All right then. How many closets does one person need? Oh wait, this is a door to the creepy ass outer. Oh wow, she's got two rooms. Is this house modeled off the Clue House? That'd be pretty cool. 
read note. Hey, Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school in the college? This is like a love letter to the 90s. This is this is not bad. I, I, I was alive in the 90s. <laughs> I'm a 90s kid. <laughs> Uh, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school in the Coliseum? It came out last weekend, and Todd won't shut up about it. Uh, so either it was good, or we can make fun of him for liking it. My mom is supposed to cook dinner for us tonight for a change, but I can just ditch out of it probably. What time? Also, isn't that the movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to barf? According to Todd, it's pretty hardcore. I guess Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle. So that's kind of hilarious. Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. Todd wants to see it again. 7.15. Okay, don't barf. Haha, <laughs> alright, see you then. Barf. Pulp Fiction was a good movie. I, I dug it. There are no mirrors in this house. Like, oh, oh no. Alright, alright, now it's, now it's creepy. Oh wait, wild color. Red right hand, semi-permanent, okay. God, you can't do this to me, game. It's either hair dye or blood. Today. She said, okay. I need to fix these roots, think you could help. Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if Guess I've this one's broken. scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked in the mirror together after and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something. But I waited. And the moment was gone. Alright, that, that's, like, that's all well and good. But there are seriously no mirrors here, okay? There are no mirrors to look in. Lonnie rules. There there aren't any mirrors to look in. 